around in the mountains, life is so incredibly simple. Who impresses you right now? This kid, Mark andre Leclerc. He's been doing all kinds of crazy alpine soloing. What I'm doing is on rock, and then I see Mark andre free soloing on ice and snow. First time I heard about Mark, he's living in a snow cave on the parkway or something. He is pushing things that is pretty much unknown. I'm Mark andre Leclerc. I'm a climber, generally speaking. He's different than anyone I'd ever met. I love him for that. He belonged in a different era, and it was like wild. I can tell the Mark Andre stories all day, but he doesn't even care if anybody ever knows what he's climbing. It's more just to have casual, fun adventures. I just hope he's careful. Anything can happen. I mean, I know it's dangerous. I'm not like deluding myself that it's not dangerous to go soloing. So why do it? Solo alpinism. Climbing big, technical mountains is more than just a sport. It's only for the very best climbers on their very best days. It's the art of surviving in the most crazy situations. Mark andre has some challenges as a kid. Climbing is like a form of freedom to be himself. When you're in the mountains, it's like all of the superficialities of life just sort of evaporate. Holy smokes! Corey Ager through going climbing. Some people consider it the hardest peak in the Americas. There's a razor's edge between genius and madness. That's a sharp, hard edge to ride. Mark dropped off the radar. A climber has gone missing. If this was not a possibility, coming out would be nothing. Not an adventure and not an hour. How was it? Scary? No, not particularly. Just another day out. <laughs> A really good day out.